medical assistance needed. of the tournament. We can lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them being able to transport those mortars loaded with DC-62. Where you think you go? 
on ahead back up. The team from the campus has taken position inside the memorial. Yo, what's good? It's your boy Lustful Power, man. Today I got another real quick build video, and in this video, I'll be bringing you on my Striker MPX SMG build, man. In TU10, which will be coming next Tuesday, the MPX will be getting a 17% through 18% buff, I believe, and that's absolutely gonna make this build right here insane. It's gonna put out some crazy damage, but let's get into the build. On this build I'm using the technician and the main reason I'm using the technician is for the plus one skill tier that adds an extra skill tier to our shield and to our drone and we also need a 10% skill healing alright I'm running the MPX is hitting at 108 and this is pre TU10 this isn't even TU10 so this gun will be in a 17% buff and that's going to make it shred it's already shredding as it is but with that buff it's going to make it insane but we got 15% SMG damage 20 crit hit chance 10% damage to target out of cover and we got strength gain 10% critical hit damage every 0 0.5 seconds you are firing stacks up to 5 times alright for my second gun I'm using the lady death and in TU10 this gun is also getting a crazy buff and I believe it's over 10% but it has 83.1k total damage we got 14% SMG damage 20 crit hit chance and 6% damage to armor and notice it has 1035 RPM alright for the mask we're using the coyotes mask it has 15 weapon damage, 6% crit hit chance, 12 crit hit damage, and a 12 crit hit damage mod. And we got pack instincts. You and all allies gain a bonus based on the distance of the last enemy you hit. So with this build, we're using a shield. It's basically a running gun build. We're always going to be 0 to 15 meters of our opponent. So we'll always get that plus 25% critical hit damage. That's another reason why I'm not using the Sokolov mask for the two-piece 15% critical hit damage. Because we're getting 25% critical hit damage using this mask because we're always going to be close with our SMG. Now in TU10 you might actually want to try the striker mask here because I did test it out. And I did get more damage from having the striker mask there and getting the stacks up. But it's currently so hard to keep those stacks up that it's not worth using. But in TU10 they're making it easier to keep the stacks. So you might actually want to try that out and see how it works for you. But alright, let's get into the chest piece. We're using the Sokolov Concern for the 10% SMG damage. We got 15 weapon damage, 11.3 critical hit damage, 6 critical hit chance, 12 critical hit damage, and we got glass cannon. All damage you deal is amplified by 25%. All damage you take is amplified by 50%. And also, I did try the striker chest piece as well, but you do get more damage but the problem is for currently keeping up the stacks so you know I just tested so many different variations of this build but this variation right here was the most consistent of me keeping the damage with glass cannon you also keep that amplified damage and you also keep that increased RPM which makes this build absolutely insane with that RPM added to the MPX and also the Lady Death. But alright, let's get into the Striker Holster. We got 15 weapon damage, 12 critical hit damage. On the knee pads, we got 15 weapon damage, 11.1 .1 critical hit damage. On the gloves, we got 15 weapon damage, 6 critical hit chance. And on the backpack, we got a group Osama backpack. The one piece gives you 15% critical hit damage. We got 15 weapon damage, 6.9 headshot, 12 critical hit damage, and 20% repair skills to add to our drone. That's more healing. And we got vigilance. Increases total weapon damage by 25%. Taking damage disables this buff for 4 seconds. And also remember, as long as you got your shield up and the enemy is hitting your shield, Vigilance is still active, so we'll still have Vigilance active while we're face tanking out there. And that's a real good, that's really good right there. And it also adds, since we're so close, we'll also get critical hit damage from my Coyote's mass. Alright, we'll look at our shield. It's almost at 2 million health. 
and we got f extra healing on our fixture drone we got extra 20% armor repair and we got repair skills on the backpack all right on the build we got 58 critical hit chance 147 critical hit damage 76 headshot we got a hundred percent all weapon damage bonus and we got 40 percent submachine gun damage bonus and that's basically the whole build and like I said in TU10 this build will absolutely shred it it already shreds now but with that buff to the MPX and the lady death and also if you want to try 4P striker this build will be nasty but don't forget to like comment subscribe I appreciate you guys deuces